Hi Gemini, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of October 9th to October 15, 2023? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Gemini, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, here we go. Let's see your energy first. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of Gemini in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Now, all the cards are upright before I shuffle. All right. What is the energy of Gemini in regards to love for this week? Energy of Gemini in regards to love for this week. Okay. We do have the Five of Cups in reverse. We also have the Queen of Cups in reverse. And the Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck at the Page of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Six of Wands. And Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Again, all the cards are upright before I begin shuffling. Okay. So in regards to your energy, Gemini, for the week. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, okay. I see. Your energy is kind of like a queen of cups. Feels like the queen of cups in reverse. Give me a second. I'm just analyzing the, the energy before I say something. Mm -hmm. I mean, you do seem pretty kind of down and pretty disappointed or actually I'm trying to figure out what exactly is your emotion here. Because I do feel like this is your energy, the Queen of Cups in reverse. So I think I'm going to clarify that. Because I'm not exactly sure what precisely is your emotion here. So tell me about that spirit. Tell me about the Queen of Cups in reverse connected to Gemini's energy. In regards to love for this week. Why the Queen of Cups in reverse? Mm, okay. Yeah, it's like you're... Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Spare. Uh, sometimes I ask questions and I, I just get the message without picking the cards, uh, without pulling the cards out. Yeah, it's kind of like you're, there's someone who, you're, who, do, who you definitely have strong feelings for. Because um, we do have the Seven of Cups in reverse, which means that there's one person, right? There's no options. There's one person that you're focused on one person that you feel um, emotionally connected to um, it kind of looks like you're you're emotionally invested in this person or you were emotionally invested in this person but there is an, a, a feeling of something's not good enough you're not getting enough from this person. You're not receiving enough from this person. You feel like you're lacking. You're lacking that emotional fulfillment. It's kind of like you feel alone. It's like a sense of loneliness. You feel alone. All 
All right, tell me about the Queen of Cups in reverse, connected to Gemini's energy. Uh, yeah, look at that, Four of Swords. This is kind of like an energy of isolation. You're doing a lot of deep thinking. Deep thinking and reflecting, evaluating. Tell me more about the Queen of Cups in reverse connected to Gemini's energy. Oh, okay. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So there is a little bit of a cycle here that you're in the middle of. That's the thing. You feel stuck. You feel stuck in the middle in the middle of uh, a cycle that is not giving you any happiness. It's not providing you any happiness or fulfillment. It's kind of like you feel bored. That's what I'm getting. I'm, I'm, I'm picking up a like on an energy of boredom. Mm. Uh, let's get one more for the Queen of Cups in Reverse Spirit connected to Gemini. For this week, Gemini's energy. Oh, okay. Two of Pentacles in Reverse. Mm. So there's something that you already know with the Two of Pentacles in reverse. It's almost like you already know that something has to give or something has to change. You can't keep going around and, and around in, in the same circle. You can't, go, you can't keep going around and around in the same circle. Something needs to give, something needs to change. But you're kind of, you're struggling to have that confidence, the, the necessary confidence to, to take action for yourself. Hmm. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. I don't really know what this is talking about, but... Hopefully that makes sense. It's like you it's like you know you need to do something, but you're not there yet. Like you don't you're not feeling confident enough yet to break out of this cycle. Hmm, okay. What about this here? Page of Pentacles. So someone is um, showing up here, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and the Six of Wands. Someone is definitely um, uh, showing up in your life, communicating, right? Page of, Page of Pentacles, Page, um, Eight of Wands. Someone's communicating and reaching out. Uh, this, someone's very confident here with the Six of Wands. We'll see what that's about. Tell me about this Page of Pentacles, Eight of Wands energy. Actually, that's communication. Let me just look at this person. Tell me about the Six of Wands spirit. Connected to this person. Tell me about the Six of Wands connected to this person. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Justice card, and we also have the Six of Cups. Mm. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles to the Eight of Wands. Mm. Let's see. Two of Wands in reverse, to the Death card in reverse, to the temperance card and look at this here we have the chariot card ten of cups in reverse queen of pentacles okay hmm. 
Um, is This is going to be a little bit of a surprise. I feel like there's a little bit of a surprise here with the chariot card. Yeah, you're not you're not really paying attention with the Queen of Pentacles. You're only paying attention to the Ten of Cups in reverse, which is your unhappiness. Hmm. Okay, so it does look like someone is reaching out here because we have the Death card in reverse, so they do feel unfinished business with you. Um, they can't get over you. It looks like this is someone from your past who wants to heal things with you with the Temperance card. Um, they might physically um, show up. They might like physically meet up with you or try to meet up with you. This energy I'm a little bit unsure about, so I think I'm gonna go over to your person side just to make sure. But there is an energy here of someone who wants to like reconcile with you. Six of Cups and the Justice card. Someone wants to reconcile and someone wants to solidify a relationship with you and a commitment with you. So I'm a little bit unsure about that one. So let me look at your person before I say anything else. Let's see. Here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Gemini is connecting to and dealing with and love for this week. What is this person's energy towards Gemini for this week? Let's get three shuffles. All right, one. Two. Three. For some of you, I'm getting um, that a good friend is going to visit you. Uh, that's kind of like a side message. Um, it feels like a very good friend of yours is going to show up and um, visit you or call you, text you. Uh, with the intention of, you know, wanting to see you. Yeah, and it feels like a good friend. Okay, that's a side message. Okay, all right. In regards to this person, what is this person's energy towards Gemini in this week? Whoever Gemini is connecting to and dealing with in love. Yeah, two of swords. That's what I thought. Some of you might be connecting with a Libra. Tell me more about their energy towards Gemini, the Fool in Reverse. And yeah, Justice card in Reverse. Okay, so this person is not related to um, whoever you're connecting to romantically. It's a friend. But let me finish here. At the bottom of the deck in regards to this person's feelings, um, not energy towards you. Judgment sun and the queen of cups in reverse and here we have the four of pentacles in reverse yeah look at that temperance in reverse mm -hmm. here of fun in reverse high priestess what is going on why is your reading so difficult <laughs> gemini this time around, it's difficult. There's, I feel like there's something specific going on here. It's be, it's very specific. Something is like secretly happening here, like behind the curtains, and I feel like you're, you don't know about it, but it's gonna, it's gonna show up, and it's gonna be a surprise. High priestess, look at that. Four of Swords, Ten of Cups. <clears throat> Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. There is a there's a turnaround here. There's a big turnaround, a big switch. Okay, so never mind what I said about this. This person it could potentially be um yeah, whoever you're connecting to romantically. Um or I but I'm also getting like I said a friend, a friend showing up for you that's a, a good friend. 
but that's a side message. Yeah, the reason why I was confused is because the energy is so drastic, you know? It just doesn't really make sense, but what I what I think is happening here is that this person is just drastically switching up their energy. It almost looks like a a transition, but it looks like a transition that doesn't make sense. Like, I don't know. I don't know how they flipped around like this. Because I do feel like you're de you were dealing with someone here who wasn't, they were trying to avoid you or ignore you or like distance themselves from you, block you, two of swords. This is like someone very stubborn. Someone who was stubbornly refusing to, I don't know, to work together with you. To compromise with you. But all of a sudden, here we have a switch here. Judgment with the sun. I might delete this reading. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to keep going. Because the, the reading seems so scattered at this point. But let me keep going. Tell me about judgment to the sun card. And this person's energy. Judgment to the sun card. And their energy towards Gemini. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. Chariot in reverse. Four of Cups in reverse. Hmm. So this is like someone who doesn't want to have a missed opportunity with you. Or maybe they already had a missed opportunity with you. But they don't. They're realizing that they don't want to have another missed opportunity with you. Yeah, this person is becoming clear about something. The sun represents clarity and illumination. They want to work. They want to work on this connection and on this relationship with you. Um, they are looking at you as the queen of cups in reverse, which is exactly how you showed up here. So they are viewing you as someone who is feeling disappointed in, you know, with them. How else is this person viewing Gemini? Clarify the Queen of Cups in reverse, Spirit. <clears throat> hmm. How else with the Queen of Cups in reverse? Um, Knight of Wands. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Ooh, the Devil. And, oh, look at that. Ace of Cups. <clears throat> I see. Um, God, it was going well until the devil came out. Hmm. Uh, Knight of Wands and the Devil, um, but with the Ace of Cups. So it's connected to the Queen of Cups, though. So I feel like this person feels like you're disappointed in them. Because they were very inconsistent, because they were very back and forth, in and out, um, and they weren't offering you um, a relationship or a commitment. Okay. That's why they feel like you're upset with them or you're disappointed in them. And they're acknowledging that. They're acknowledging the fact that they were very inconsistent and superficial and, you know, um, deceptive, uh, toxic. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. So this person wants to like fix their reputation with you. Basically the sun card can also represent your reputation, your image. This person wants you, wants you to have a different image, to see a different image of, of them. They want to fix their reputation with you. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Spirit, Two of Swords, Fool in Reverse, and Justice in Reverse. <clears throat> Uh, 
I'm confused with this reading, but hopefully this makes sense to you. What's the Two of Swords, Fool, and Justice in their energy? King of Swords in reverse, Eight of Swords, and Two of Pentacles. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, this person was very set. Like, they, this person had their mind, mind made up. They had their mind made up. That they weren't going to be in a, re in a real relationship with you. In a stable relationship or a committed relationship. They had their mind made up about that. That, it, that they didn't want to get, you know, um, emotionally, emotionally involved with you. Or like deeply emotionally involved with you. So they had their mind made up, but it kind of looks like they're switching here. Hmm. They're switching their, their mind. All right, let's do this, Gemini. Let's pull um, a new spread for this person. Just to see if there's any confirmation with this story that I've been communicating to you. Let's see. Oh, this this reading is tricky. Very tricky. What do I want to use? Let me go to another deck here. Or no, I'll just I'll use the same one. I'll just shuffle. Oh, I have this deck here. Let's do this one. All right. I spare show me the energy of this person towards Gemini for this week. I'm doing a new spread to basically confirm the messages that I already said to you. Let's see if there's any confirmation that shows up. What's the energy of this person towards Gemini for this week? We have the Six of Swords in their energy towards you. We also have the Two of Wands in their energy towards you. And we have the Strength card at the bottom of the deck. Mm. Three of Cups, Four of Wands, Six of Wands. Page of Swords at the bottom. Yeah, this is like someone who's like rethinking their priorities. They're rethinking um, what it is that really matters to them. You know, what, re what, sorry, what it is that's truly important to them. Where do, where do they see themselves in, in five years, you know, in 10 years? Like they're taking the time to think about their future and to think about what they truly desire for themselves in their future. Yeah, it's like this person is ready to make a change with the Six of Swords. They're ready to make some sort of significant change. And like I said, Two of Wands and the Strength card. Um, it's almost like this person feels like it's time to grow up. It's time. It's time. It's time. I feel like that's what they're thinking. It's time. It's time to grow up. It's time to level up. It's time to become more mature. You know, it's time to think about what I really want my future to look like. Mm. Because I feel like this person hasn't really thought about it. You know, they, they haven't really taken the time to truly, you know, reflect and analyze what it is that they truly want, them, want for themselves, you know, in five years, uh, in, in, in eight years, in 10 years, in 20 years, you know. Obviously, you know, nothing is a guarantee, but 
they've never really thought about it. Like they've never really taken the time to um, seriously evaluate where they where they truly want to be and who they truly want to be with. Because we do have the four of wands and the three of cups here. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay. It's like this person is feeling inspired. <clears throat> They're feeling inspired to, to think about their priorities and to evaluate their priorities and see how they can change things around to better lead them to the life that they want to create for themselves down the line you know <clears throat> tell me about the six of swords and this person's energy towards gemini so they're oh, sorry. oh ooh, look at that queen of cups again it showed up again yeah this person is thinking about you very deeply like they're deeply um reflecting and analyzing their connection with you their relationship with you Again, four of wands and the three of cups. Um, it's almost like this person is asking, themsel asking themselves the question, do I want to get married? Do I want to get married in the future? Do I see myself getting married? To Gemini. Do I see myself having a family with Gemini, you know? Having a home with Gemini. Is that something I can picture? Like, uh, honestly, seriously, you know? Like I said, it's like this person's thinking about it very seriously. Now, I mean, they might have thought, it bef uh, thought about it before, but never, never with the seriousness that they're thinking about it now. All right. Tell me about the Six of Swords. And their energy towards Gemini. Uh, the Nine of Swords. Yeah, they're a little bit stressed here. They're a little bit stressed because, you know, it's a big, it's a big change that they're thinking about, you know, making in their life. A big transition. Tell me about the Two of Wands connected to their energy towards Gemini. Yeah. High Priestess, great. All right, this is definitely a confirmation. Yeah, High Priestess is all about like listening to your intuition, you know? I feel like that's what this person's trying to do. They're trying to listen to their intuition. They're trying to um, listen to their inner voice, you know, their inner wisdom. They're, they're deeply analyzing themselves. This is a very spiritual energy. This person's going through some sort of spiritual change or, or they're trying to go through a, a spiritual change here. Okay, that's good. Tell me about the strength card and this person's energy towards Gemini. Why the strength card? And ooh, Ace of Wands. Hmm. Tell me more about um, the Strength card and their energy towards Gemini. You see, it's like they're quietly thinking, right? High Priestess is when you're being quiet and silent. They're quiet. They're quietly thinking. They're quietly. Um, reflecting and analyzing. Mm -hmm. They're quietly thinking about the changes that they want to make. That they feel like it's, it's time. It's time for them to make, you know? Tell me more about the, the strength card and their energy towards Gemini. The Three of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles.
Queen of Wands, Five of Cups, Four of Swords, Page of Wands. Okay. Now, if there's a third party situation, because I feel like for some of you, this person is also thinking about who do, who do they want to be with, um, because there might be more than one option. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For some of you, that is the story. There is more than one option here with the Three of Cups, and this person is, you know, thinking very deeply and very seriously about who they truly want to establish a future with because they feel like it's time. They feel like it's time for them to grow up and, and make serious changes in their life. This person is tired of going around the same energy, the same cycle, just like you are. All right. Tell me more about this person's energy towards Gemini spirit. What else? Tell me what else. Empress. Okay. Tell me more about this person's energy towards Gemini for this week. Three of Swords. Five of Cups. Hmm. They feel like you don't want them anymore, Gemini. Yeah, here we go. There it is. They feel like you don't want them anymore. You know, they feel like potentially you might not love them anymore or care about them anymore. Or they, they feel like you might, you know, you might be so hurt by them and so disappointed by them that you're 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 reaching the point you're at the point or you're reaching the point of you know never wanting to be with them again or never wanting to consider them again so i feel like that's really what's pressuring them to like get their act together basically because i feel like this person was you know like fooling around seven of cups to the nine of cups like they were wasting time Wasting time. This is someone who um, has been confused for a long time about, you know, what do they truly want, right? The Nine of Cups. What's, what's truly going to make them happy? What's truly going to make them, you know, content? They've been exploring their options, um, you know, playing the field, Constantly indecisive about what they truly want for themselves. But here we have the Knight of Pentacles showing up. So like I said, I feel like this person is a little bit tired of their own confusion, their own constant confusion. It's like this person wants to, they want a home. They want to, they want to put down roots. Yeah, they want they want a home base, you know? They want a home base. They don't want to feel lost anymore. Or scattered anymore. Maybe that's what I'm picking up on. I'm picking up the on their scattered energy cuz this reading feels very scattered. So I think it's because of them. I'm I'm channeling their energy. They they feel very, like, scattered and lost and just all over the place. But it does look like they're, like I said, they're taking the time to really be serious about their life now and about, you know, the type of relationship that they want to have ultimately, you know, in, in their future. Now and in their future. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to continue now in the extended reading, uh, Gemini, and I'm going to take a deeper look at this person here. Um, I'm going to take a deeper look at what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. 
what exactly are their true and real intentions with you, especially for this week. And then I'm going to take a look at what actions will they take towards you next and what's the overall outcome um, going to be between you and this person moving forward. All right, Gemini. So if you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.